When you first heard about this situation where you were related, what was the uh, impetus or the involvement that you said, I want to tell this story? When did you decide to do that? Well, I, I mean, I guess I found out right before I turned 16. Then it was a four-year journey until Dominique and Christina, and we all met. And then it was just kind of, you know, uh, came, came out as it came out, I guess, right? With your book and, yeah, then, cause, and stages. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I was in the middle of writing a memoir anyway. So I had to rethink, oh my gosh, how can I write this story and not include this? This is not possible. <laughs> so it took me seven years instead of the three that we had planned, and we had to redo the entire premise of maybe now we can incorporate parallel lives because much of the book had been written. And so then I had to find a way to first get to know Jen. And I wanted to put off the book release because I did not want us to not have a relationship between the three of us before we went public in fame. Because fame can do crazy things to relationships and families. I already know that from experience. Well, Jen, you didn't have to go through as many hoops as growing up mm -hmm. and all the pressures and the legal situations that right. Dominique did. Yes. How did this affect you when you finally got into it? And he said, uh, how did I get here? Yeah, like she said, I mean, it was, um, it was actually like culture shock for me, which is so funny because we're, we're American, but they, they are from Romania, you know, the, our biological, her parents, my biological parents. And so there were so many things, like she said, that were so opposite so opposite and I it was I had never even met somebody like that you know I didn't know people like that I hadn't I'm like what the, you you don't have friends over you don't have like what are you talking about and she spent like so much time every time we would meet up she would just be explaining we, we would be talking about the family dynamic so that I could kind of understand because it was so there was such a gap like it was like the Grand Canyon you know and trying to you know just how and why and why would they, you know, to understand kind of the mindset. And it takes a lot of conversation, just a lot of time. And it was so, yeah, foreign for me and hard. And because it was, you know, I was just like, I'm just so excited I'm your sister, you know, like I just want to tell everybody. And it was, I was like, why can't, you know, like there were just so many other things that I just was excited to have sisters, you know, like that was it. And there wasn't anything else, you know, I didn't come with, I didn't come from that like mentality, you know? I was just, that was it. And it was kind of all on the table, you know? <laughs> well, your upbringing, your mother, Sharon, was very grounded. Yeah. And well, she made you grounded. Both my parents, um, really amazing. You know, not in the way that maybe some people might think, like they're some, you know, scholarly, uh, educated, studied, like they studied people and read books on how to raise me. They're not like that. They're just very normal, salt of the earth, grounded, like you said, just very loving, common sense kind of people. You know? Let's talk a little bit about the, the movie making itself. Dominique, of course, your life is lived on videotape. I mean, you, you were on television and taped from, from the time you were seven years old. The wonderful thing that you uncovered is all of the, the video of you as an athlete, uh, Jen, and having that that really shows the nature versus nurture yeah. part of it, the, comp the competitiveness, the, the talent uh, that you both have. Uh, when, you, when you were uh, looking at the, at the video, you uh, were given access to everything and, and that must have, your eyes must have lit up and you said, I hit gold on this. So I, I found out about Jen and Dominique's story about two years ago, so it was it was developed, it was brought to us by a member of our development team. And we kind of, when we were looking into the story, it was really kind of the, the features and news articles that had come out around 2012 when Jen and Dominique went public with the story for the first time. So it was quite a lot of how the story was covered in the past was quite tabloid y, I guess. And it hadn't been kind of no one had gone into the depth of a 100-minute film. So that was really the, the kind of appeal for us. 
And then I think Jen and Dominique had had a lot of offers before to tell their story. And I think it was just the right timing. And they'd seen my previous film as well. So I think it, a lot of things came together. Um, and it, yeah, I was very fortunate to, to, get, to get onto it. You idolize this person for so long. And your mother, very casually, tells you what your last name really was. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you didn't expect it. And she no, was so calm the way she did. She sat, she sat on that circuit for a long time. Yes, they did. And I, even though, like I said, that's very out of their character, I, it was definitely the right decision at that time for them. But, but finding out, yeah, it was, it was just a shock. It was a, oh my gosh, all the emotions and feelings. And then, like I said, at the same time, just the, yeah. I mean, I was drawn to her. We looked alike, we liked the same things, we, you know, and as a kid that was really important, you know, at like a seven year old it was like, nobody looked like me, and she likes the same things as I do, and we're both small, and like all these things that sound superficial, but really big deal as a kid, and so I was drawn to her. I think that the thing that amazed me about that was Sharon was holding the information back from Jen, because she didn't want it to you know, because she was still very young. Yes. Mm -hmm. But then in the interviews, they also said they didn't do it because they didn't want, Dominique was in her prime in terms of gymnastics and they didn't want it affecting her. Mm -hmm. So they were thinking of Dominique as well as Jen, which I thought was amazing. Right, hero. Yeah. Sharon is the real hero of this show. Yeah. They are. I always say that. My parents are the heroes, definitely. And I know Christina and Jen were itching to like get the information out. They wanted so much you know? to go. And, I had and I'm like, waited already you... for so, four right. years and nobody right. knew. Right. You know, and it was like, and then I finally, like, they finally knew. And right. then it was like, are you kidding me? We have to wait three more years. years. It's horrible. Yeah. But yeah. we did need to get to know each other. And it was, it's a lot, you know, and, and so, yeah. You were like sitting on a powder keg. Yes, yes, it was just, I'm not a patient person anyway, you know, like, not my strength. What came across for me was, there's the obvious comparisons that connect Jen and Dominique with the competitive spirit, the athleticism, but then for me personally, spending time with both of them, I was just amazed by how similar they are in character, despite the different environments that they grew up in. And it just was a lot. I felt like it was a lot of responsibility on my shoulders. Like Jen comes from, like she said, it's no secrets. It's, you know, open door policy at our house where people come in and out when she was a child. And, and for us, we were very private people. My parents grew up like, no, we lock the doors at night. <laughs> we don't let strangers come in. I didn't have a lot of friends come over. We were very private with our lives and so that was like a lot for Jen to first get used to mm -hmm. so the differences between our family dynamics of how she grew up how I grew up and then our nature versus nurture of all three of us Christina and Jen when we found out they had almost the exact same voice message yeah. on their phone a almost verbatim like a personalized, personalized message one. yeah and so we would be constantly saying oh my gosh i can't believe yeah. this this and then you know it was just like <laughs> oh my foods. gosh yes the foods and <laughs> the desserts yes the, and the like things everything. we, we like to go shopping and yeah. then we had to pretend we weren't sisters and we'd go into stores and people are like are you sisters obviously with, you're no we're, no we're cousin a cousin from <laughs> Ro romania or something you know we would just have to play it off because people also knew me in cleveland so I had to be very careful when we got out in public because we had to tell the story the right way. If it got out the wrong way, it would be a game of telephone and then everything could get very convoluted very quickly. And so I had to have a very good strategy with my PR team, my publicist, my attorney, and you know, the people who helped write my memoir as well, who are a big part of that team. And make sure that it gave Jen justice, like how was I gonna deliver her message to the world and explain who she was in our lives and from my vantage point as well, writing the book. So I think it was just, it was a lot, but when we look back, we're really glad that we waited. What was the most important or fun thing you learned about each other? Hmm. I think fun things for me was just, like we kind of mentioned earlier, we. Every time we met up, we, we just couldn't believe the similarities. I mean, it was like one thing after another. Oh, you like this? Oh, I do too. Oh, you say that? Oh, so do I. I mean, it was like nonstop, all three of us. And so that was really fun for me. I grew up with, I had older brothers, so I had, you know, no sisters. I grew up with three older brothers. I grew up, you know, I was adopted, so nobody ever looked like me, you know, growing up. And I looked even more different. It might not seem like that, but in a small town, I had like jet black hair, I was really, really tan, and just big eyes, and just, you know, just different features than like,
kind of middle America, normal people. And so I loved that about myself. So it wasn't something I was, um, you know, weird about. I loved it, but it was so awesome. Like having sisters, having all the similarities, doing sister stuff, just going shopping, like the most normal things, but I never had that. And that was just really fun for me. And then you add on like the whole story, you know, over the top. <laughs> that would be for you? Yes, I think the shopping and the eating, we, we love <laughs> yes. food and desserts <laughs> and chocolate, so. Can't rem- tell what we love, right? <laughs> I remember um, Christina and Jen specifically saying, we have an extra stomach when it comes to desserts. Yes. And I'd be like, you're my kind of people, right? Yes. So it was just, that's the fun things because I had to be withheld from food for so long. So the fact that we could all enjoy food because my dietary restrictions and gymnastics and just um, having these extreme measures that I had to be careful for, but you know, being able to enjoy it with my sisters is, is always a fun thing. We love Food. So food is, is a great topic of conversation. 